our 15th conversation on urbanization. And as you know, normally our routine is that we just give 10 minutes to the speaker to speak in the first instance, and then we put all our questions and comments and make it into a real conversation. But this being the subject which most of us are somewhat, uh, I would say, uncomfortable with, or we are trying to catch up with, to understand all the fast changing uh, technology and how it impacts our lives, uh, we made a special uh, uh, concession and we'd like Dr. Rajat Kathuria, who's director and chief executive of ICRIA and a known authority uh, in terms of both his research and policy uh, advisory roles with the uh, government and as a consultant to several international institutions like the World Bank, ADB, ILO, a whole, whole lot of them. Uh, we thought we'd use this opportunity to get him to spend 20 minutes to give us um, um, Internet and Cities 101. And then we'll put all our questions uh, to you. Uh, may I request people who are sitting on that side to please come in the middle? It'll make uh, the job of the speaker so much uh, simpler. I'm not going to give a detailed uh, introduction to Dr. Kathulia, partly because he's our very own. Uh, uh, you know, we work together at ICREA and uh, um, uh, Rakesh Kakkar houses us in this setup, so I don't think we need to really spend uh, too much time. But uh, you have the, the bio that was made to you. So without spending any more time, Rajat, why don't I ask you to start? Thank you, Dr. Alwalia, uh, Mr. Kapkar, friends. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, this is quite a task of trying to kind of compress in 20 minutes uh, what is happening in internet and how we are responding as city residents as a result of that. So I'm going to go through quickly. I prepared some slides, uh, thankfully, uh, thanks to some of my colleagues sitting here in the audience, uh, Mansi and uh, Smithy. So we've together prepared uh, what I'm going to talk about. The essential kind of the focus of this discussion is how internet uh, now and how mobile voice in the past really changed the way we lived, interacted, communicated, learned, and uh, performed our, our tasks, both social and professional, in cities. And this is, a, a mo I think, a monumental change. And we don't even know how it's going to impact us in the future. And I'll lay out a few data points, and I'm happy to come back and talk to you about these uh, in, the, in the questions. But first, you know, something that will shock you, or surprise you at least, if not shock you, is that every day, every day in the world, this is what happens in the, in the internet kind of space domain. 207 billion emails are sent, 8.8 billion YouTube videos, 4.2 billion Google searches every day. Uh, so much of GB worth of data is exchanged, so many tweets and photos, and and Skype calls and Amazon purchases, etc. Et I mean, this, this data, I mean, even to somebody who lives in India or in China, this is, you know, huge. And uh, I think this is truly transformational uh, because part of it hasn't yet begun to happen, which means that in India we don't have the kind of, as I will show you, internet ownership yet uh, for this kind of magnitude of. Uh, of levels of usage uh, that are happening in the rest of the world, when they happen in India, uh, this will truly become a transformation moment. So this is what happening in the rest of the world. And uh, you know, just for sake of illustration, uh, there are lots of places in the globe that are not covered by internet, including in India. And you know, Facebook and Google. I'm going to take names of uh, of entities, uh, primarily not. For, in terms of any commercial sense, but what they're doing in the in the 
the internet uh, domain. This is a drone which is powered by Facebook, powered by solar, and by Facebook, uh, owned by Facebook, which is going to provide internet signals and coverage in spaces that uh, are very difficult uh, for ordinary fiber or even for wireless technology uh, to exist. So this is going to literally cover uh, the entire, so there are you know, areas in Africa, there are areas in Northeast, you know, you think about archipelagos of, of Indonesia where it's very difficult to cover. So this is the kind of technology that is emerging and Google's project called the, the Project Loom does the same thing but instead of using a drone, it uses a balloon and balloons are going to then cover the rest of